Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will be sharing all the steps that I used to create the crystal effect in Blender using EV. I will go through the basic modeling to setting up the materials and lighting. The end result would be similar to the one you see here on the screen. So let's start. I start with the default Blender scene. Select the cube and delete it. Now press Shift A and select cylinder. I will now adjust the properties for the cylinder using 8 sides and changing the diameter to 5. You can also try different settings as you like. Select the top face and right click on it. I will select the option Oak Faces. It will create a vertex in the center of the face. Now press 1 to go into vertex mode. Select the middle vertex and move it upwards using the transform tool. This will define the height of the crystal. Now select the top edge and move it downwards and scale it up. You can change the shape of the crystal as you want it to be. It does not have to be exactly like mine. Next I'm going to rename this object to crystal outside. I will be using two crystals so it is better to rename it here for easier selection later on. Go into the modifier tab and add a bevel modifier. Slightly change the width parameters so the bevel of edges is less. Next I will add another modifier that is the subdivision modifier. I have increased the view count to 2 and smooth the object by right clicking on it and selecting smooth shading from the option. To further enhance the look of the crystal body, I will create a texture. For this, go into the texture panel, name it as crystal noise. And select the type distorted noise. I will use the default settings here. Going back to the modifier panel, I will add another modifier but this time a displace modifier. In the options, select the texture that we created earlier. This is crystal noise. As soon as the texture is applied, the shape of the crystal will get distorted. This can be fixed by going into the strength and reducing it. This completes the modeling part for now. Press Z and select the rendered option from the pie menu. By default, Blender 2.8 is using EV, so the scene will become green. For lighting, I will use an HDR map. Now go into the world panel. Click the small circle next to color. Select the environment texture. The scene color will change. Now I will assign the HDR map. Click open and browse to the HDR map that you want to use. I am using an HDR map from HDR Heaven and I have provided a link for it in the description below. You can use the same map. It is pretty good for the lighting in this scene. I will start creating the materials we need here. Go into the materials panel and create a new one. Name it crystal outside. I will change the color to red. For roughness, I will reduce it to a much lower value. Next change the index of refraction to a higher value like 2. For the transmission, I will change it to 1. As you can see, we have started to get some results already. Turn on screen space refractions. In world properties, turn on screen space reflections and turn on the refraction setting. Rest of the settings you can leave as they are. Now I am going to duplicate the crystal and place the copy on the side for some more editing. Using the transform tool, I am going to scale it down and make it more thinner. And then I am going to rename it to crystal inside.
For this new crystal, I will assign the new material. The properties will be different from the one we created earlier. Give it a solid red color. Remove the modifiers that are the subdivision and the displacement as we don't need them here now. Using the transform tool, place this new crystal inside the other one using the rotate scale tool to make it fit inside properly. By placing this inside, the refraction result will look much more better. Now change the color to a much more darker one so it blends with the outside color. If you like, you can turn on bloom settings in the scene properties. Now select the outside crystal material and you can try changing different colors. The last step here is to hide the background HDR map which is visible in the scene. For this, I will split the view. Set the new view as shader editor and from the top I will change it to world. This will allow scene environment to be changed. Now I will add three new nodes here. First one is a background node a mixed shader node, a light path node. Connect the camera ray and background nodes to the mixed shader. And finally, connect the output from the mix shader to the world output node. You can see the color of the viewport will now change. Now you can make the background to any color and the lighting from the HDR map will also be visible. You can further add some more crystals simply by duplicating the original one. Using scale and transform, you can fill the base with different sizes. That basically completes this tutorial. I hope you would have found this useful in some way. I hope to make some more tutorials using Blender and Unity in the future. Let me know in the comments below about your views and I will be happy to reply. Thank you very much everyone for viewing. See you in the next one.